Hey guys, this is Mobile Tech Point. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to route your international variant of Samsung Galaxy S8 or the S8 Plus with the latest Magisk 14. Let's begin. You might want to route your phone to run root apps, run custom ROMs, custom kernels and to have complete control on your Android system. But the problem is you will not get OTA system updates and you will lose Samsung Pay forever. You will get system updates if you unroot your phone, but Samsung Pay will not work even if you unroot your phone. Good thing is, Android Pay will still work. Before you start, please back up all the data in your phone's internal storage because this process is going to factory reset your phone. You can use Samsung Smart Switch which can back up your media files, SMS, contacts, call logs, apps and everything else. I will leave all the links in the description below. Now you need to go to developer options. If you don't see this menu, go to about phone, software information and tap on build number 7 times and come back. Now you should see developer options. In developer options, make sure USB debugging and OEM unlock are enabled. You need to download TWRP recovery file, no verity zip file and magisk zip file. I will leave the links in the description below for all these files. Copy these two zip files into your phone external SD card. This is important because we are going to wipe the internal storage. Now you need another software called Odin to flash the firmware. Go to odindownload.com and download the latest version which is 3.12. This is a zip file. Extract it. and you will see all these files. Finally, you need Samsung USB driver. Download the zip file, extract it and install the software. Now power off your phone. Press and hold, volume down, big B and power button all at the same time for few seconds until you see this warning screen. Press volume up to continue. Now connect the phone to your PC with a USB cable. Now open Odin and you should see this blue indicator. If you don't see this, then try connecting your phone to another USB port. Click on AP and select TWRP TAR file. Go to options and make sure auto reboot and AF reset time are checked. Then click on start. When you click on start, the file will be flashed in 5 seconds. As soon as the phone screen goes blank, you need to press and hold volume up, big B and power button all at the same time for few seconds to go into TWRP recovery mode. Let's click on start. Waiting. Now. Now we are in TWRP recovery mode and we don't need the PC anymore. Swipe to allow modifications. Click on wipe. Format data. Type yes to erase internal storage. Go to advanced wipe. Select Dalvik cache and cache then swipe to clear. Go to install and select no verity zip file and swipe to flash. Then select magisk zip file and swipe to flash. Click on reboot system. Mind you that first boot may take up to 10 minutes so don't worry about that, wait for it.
Now the phone has booted up and let's verify root access. There you go, the phone is successfully rooted. Some apps like Snapchat, Pokemon Go and Tata Sky won't run on rooted phones but the advantage with Magis case, you can actually hide root from those apps and make them run. If you are getting a notification from security log agent, then you might have noticed even if you dismiss the notification, it will show up after some time. And Samsung has not given an option to disable this notification, but there is a way. You need to download and install an app called Package Disabler. Please find the link in the description below. Open this app and search for security log agent. Select the checkbox and restart your phone. That will work. If you like this video, please hit that like button and also subscribe to Mobile Tech Point for more tech videos and also click on the bell icon to get notified every time we upload a new video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please drop a comment. I'll be happy to answer them. I'll see you in the next one. Until next time. Peace.